likely to have fewer boyfriends and more likely to postpone sexual involvement and more likely to feel badly about having premarital sex. So that's done in a study, a very large study, that talks about that. So these are just key different statistics that I'm sharing with you how big an impact that dad has. Now, I want to take a minute and talk to you single moms because you might have signed on to this and you're a single mom and you're thinking, oh, all is lost. But you know, I want to just encourage you right now because God knows exactly where you're at. And God is the true father of all. God's the father who will not disappoint us. God's the father who will not let us down. And so I really encourage you, just rest in the Lord. And also, okay, if you've got that son that's 10 to 12 and you're trying to talk to him about his body changes, you know, I would get a book and we've got some on our website. I'd get a book that you say, I didn't do this. We better look at this together. Come on, let's read it together. Don't be afraid to enter into those discussions with your son. Don't be afraid to talk to him about the birds and the bees. Mom, God has put you there. He knows your situation. I love you. Those are three powerful words. And maybe as a father, you have never had that spoken over to you or spoken to you. It is time to break that curse. It is a curse that you have not ever heard those words spoken to you. But as you stand in Jesus Christ, and because of what Jesus has done on the cross, that curse has been broken, and by the blood of Jesus, you enter into a new covenant with him, and you can speak with power and authority from God the Father himself, and as a father, you can speak, I love you, to your children.